Hello everyone! Welcome to another video for Wizard 101's guides. Today's video we are going to find all of the Mushu Blue Oysters, I suppose. Um, so with this quest you can get it from none other than Prospector Zeke. Um, let's see, so there's 10 oysters in total that we need to grab and find for Prospector Zeke. So what we're going to do today is go ahead and start that because we did start Dragon Spire in our last video. So in order to find the first and second Jade Palace oysters, the first one is going to be over here um, in the Water Dojo as you go into Shoshun Village. So let's run over here to that. And now this, it's pretty easy to find this one right here under the tree when you go through. And then we can quickly move on to the second one. And that second one is basically going to be on the other side. So um, it's going to be over here on the rock dojo near uh, Yoshi Yoshido Temple. And some places have two oysters and then some of them have one, I believe. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Uh, but, I mean, either way... As long as we can find the clams, right? Alright, and then... Once you have the second blue oyster, we can go ahead and go to... Let's see, let's go to Hamstew Village. Um, we were going to kind of bounce all around, but I think this one would... This way would be the easiest because... Just when you're questing, um, this is the first area that you really go into to fight. Um, so if you want to watch this along with questing, you know, you can pause it and everything as you go through. Now, for Hamstew Village, it's going to be like in this little corner right here where this building is next to the teleporter. Um, you can't really miss it unless you're just kind of like you know, speed running or just kind of looking for, like, your next quest. But, um, it's, it's really simple because when you go to, like, the town outskirts and stuff to do your first real fighting and collecting quest, it's literally right here off to the side for you. Um, and then we'll pull up our map again and we'll go over here to Tataki Outpost. Um, because that's technically the next area that you'll go to once you finish Hamstew Village. So we will run over there and kind of sightsee as we move along. And then, I mean, yeah, because if you are one that does, like, side quests or, like, gets all the silver and wooden chests, you're bound to find them anyways so i feel like it would be easier to just go ahead and grab the quest now for the tataki outpost it'll be right over here near uh maito the boss that you fight before you finish this area um you don't really have to go too far um all you have to do is run straight over here uh to the middle of the map because once you finish this area you have to go here to essentially you know fight the boss um so this is his little hideout or whatever but i believe it's over here to the left yes so when you come to uh my toe here in the middle it's behind this well it was fairly simple and then we're gonna go to shoshun village next uh so we'll just use our little teleport to jade palace Pull up our map and we'll see that it's over here to the left. Um, because Jade Palace is split into two separate, like, temples kind of thing. Um, so Sh Shoshun is over here to the left. That's a mouthful within itself. Um, but we'll just run over here. And let's see here. I don't think we have to do... I don't think there's any oysters, like, in any major dungeons except for like one or two but that'll be fine okay 
So when you go to Shoshan Village, it's going to be over here in between these two houses here. So that's going to be right here on the map. And it's here behind that first building, okay? Now, the next one is over here to the left again, uh, to Kashibi Village. Um, that one's a pretty easy one as well. Okay. And, I mean, like I said, you can quest along with the video in the background because we're doing it in order of, like, the areas that you unlock. So when you come over to Kashibi Village, this oyster's gonna be over here on this hill across from Wuping, in a sense. So we'll just run over there real quick. And as you progress further in the worlds, they do kind of get harder um, to locate. Just because the maps get bigger, the places get like a little bit smaller with hiding. But that's where I will come in to help you guys along the way. So, once you run up this hill, it's literally up here behind the well. Perfect. So, now what comes next is our first dungeon. So, unfortunately, we, like, you do have to go through the whole dungeon in order to, um find this one but it's going to be in shirataki temple over here in shoshan village so we'll just run back there you aren't going to have to watch me do the entire dungeon so don't worry um i'll go ahead and just walk you through where to go and then we will like the next time you see me then we'll be at the clam pretty much because you don't have to do the whole dungeon for this quest in particular when you can just do it as you're questing um that's what i tend to do but because i want to teach you guys um, where these locations are then hopefully it'll help you when you're doing the actual quest versus just waiting until you finish the world and have all the areas unlocked and then you go back to do the dungeon um so here's the dungeon here to shirataki temple and we will go find the clam for you all right guys and we're back we did just finish up most of the dungeon in shirataki temple so once you unlock the gate after you speak to Din Ho and defeat Haru, the oyster is literally right here in between the stairs and the steps. So now what we'll do is we're going to go back to the Jade Palace so that we can run over to Yoshida Temple. Now Yoshida Temple is going to be the one on the right this time. So once you get to Yoshida Temple, you're pretty much in the home stretch of completing Mushu. Um, so it's going to be over here towards the rock dojo on the right, as I said. Um, so we're going to run over here. Now, this one is pretty simple, um, because, like, it's literally just bridges and then a, a shrine building right in the center of a body of water. And it's literally just off to the side, um, when you're heading to Village of Sorrow. So when you look at your map, we're coming over here, of course, from the Jade Palace. So we'll run all the way over here, and then we'll turn. And then it's right here um, near the entrance to the Village of Sorrow. Um, so it's it's literally not that crazy, um, to be honest. But, like, if you didn't automatically know that it was right here through the entrance to Village of Sorrow, <laughs> you'd literally just be running laps around everywhere until you found it. Um, <clears throat> so it looks like this, like it's just a little cow shrine because it's Mushu. I always go over here to the right and then it's going to be like right here in the back. And it's right here in the middle of these two little cow statues. And then, then at that point, we're just going to go into the village of sorrow, um, and get that oyster. Now, this one, 
nine times out of ten, I feel like the oysters are going to be in the middle of the map. Um, and if they're not directly in the center, then, you know, they're just kind of off to the side. So, for this one, we have the map here. Um, it's going to be, like, right here in the nook. So, we are going to take this teleporter to kind of shorten up the length. And then we'll pull the map up. And then we'll run over here to it. And it'll kind of sneak up on you, too, because it's right there in the corner. Um, so you do have to look out for that, but then once you grab it, we'll have to move on to the tree of life. So this is going to be the last blue oyster that you have to find in Mushu. Now this one as well, it is a dungeon. Um, it's going to be the very final dungeon, but thankfully it's like right in the beginning. Like you don't have to get anything unlocked. You don't have to do any fighting. Like this one is the simpler of the blue oysters itself. So... We're going to run over there to that one. And then we can turn the quest back into Prospector Zeke. Um, so this one isn't too crazy. But in order to get the Tree of Life. If you don't have a friend or anybody that can teleport you into the Tree of Life. If you don't have it unlocked. You of course will have to go through the questing to unlock it. Um, because this bridge is quote unquote locked by this guardian spirit. Um... But since we're in Dragon's Fire, we've already finished it. Um, and then, like I said, it's pretty much like right as soon as you get inside. <sighs> Alright. And like I said, you really don't have to do any question. Because you just run straight through and it's over here near the teleporters. Alright, so we're just going to run around... And then make sure you're careful not to get pulled by these souls. And then here we are. So like I said, it's pretty simple and it's right here on this back wall. So now what we're going to do since we finished it, we're going to go back to Prospector Zeke in the Jade Palace. And we're going to turn in the quest. So that's going to be pretty cool. So let's go here. And like I said, pretty quick and simple, you know. Um... You don't have to do this as you're questing. That's just, you know, personal preference. But it does help because you can grab them as you're in the areas. So we're going to turn this into Prospector Zeke and we're going to wrap it up. Thanks, pal. Them blue oysters need gathering up. Mushu ain't as nice as it used to be. I'll find a place for them, don't you worry. Be sure to look me up again if you wander the spiral. <laughs> All right, and then of course you get gold, you get one training point, and then you do get spellments for a spell um, in your quest or your spell deck. And then you'll also get this cool little badge um, for Mushu Explorer. So that'll go very nice along with your Oni Slayer. But that's the end of the video. Um, please leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have any tips or tricks that you learned along the way as you were questing in Mushu, finding these blue oysters. And feel free to subscribe so that way you can check out all of the videos as they come out. Thanks for hanging out and you have a great day.